Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your January 2021 messages from Spirit Reading for the sign of Pisces. So hope you're well and let's get straight into your reading and pull your Spirit Message card. So what do we have for Pisces please, Angels, Spirits, Guides? And remember Pisces, the message can be something big or small, can be something specific, can be just advice. So let's see what we get for you. Message for Pisces, thank you. Very nice energy. We have gratitude. I like this card because to me it's saying that you're going to have a reason to be thankful to spirit. Um, so we have gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. I mean, that's a beautiful approach as well. But for me, there could be a reason for you to be thankful as well, Pisces. It feels very beautiful. Okay, let's pull another card. What do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for Pisces. Okay, two cards. Yeah, we have number 19. Guard your energy. Guard your energy. And you know, that can be that as well. You know, when it says, if you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. So that could be your own energy. It could also be protecting yourself from situations, people as well that don't serve you. And we have number 28, mindful wisdom, create inner harmony. There is something to do with your internal energy here, Pisces. You know, and, and the readdressing of that, being careful about your internal energy, protecting your own energy. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the issue or challenge you need help from spirit on. Second card is advice from spirit. And the third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for Pisces. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting. We have the Knight of Cups reversed and that's in your challenge and that's Pisces. Knight, Knight of Cups is Piscean energy for me as a reader. Your challenge Pisces, we have the Eight of Swords and we have the Four of Wands as your outcome. Okay. So let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Pisces, please. Wanting to come out. We've got the Hermit card of Virgo. Eight of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Cups. And the Three of Wands is clarified with the Four of Wands. Bottom of the deck is the Hanged Man, which is, you know, your energy as well. It's Neptune, your ruler. It feels very beautiful. So Pisces, something has got you down here. It feels... You know, this Knight of Cups reverse, generally it's about being down and it's your energy. I mean, the, the Cups energy is our emotions, our feelings, but it's interesting because I am... I'm getting in this energy, you know. It's interesting because when I see the Ace of Cups, you see the missing cup and the fact that this kind of the missing cup, the ninth cup, the cup that brings you your heart's desire, the cup that brings fulfillment and joy and happiness. It doesn't feel like it's manifesting. And that's what's getting you down. 
I'm feeling stuck energy here. It's, uh, this is about, it can be about being moody. I mean, sometimes it can be to do with um, situations, uh, people. Sometimes it can be to do with unrealistic expectations here as well, Pisces, when it's reversed. But I'm kind of feeling more something's getting you down because the cup, that cup that you want, the thing that's going to bring you happiness and joy is just not coming. I'm getting this sense of frustration and that's why you're being told to guard your energy, regroup, create that inner harmony and this gratitude message of be thankful for what you have and that's when you start to attract and it might well be you've already been doing that, you've already been working at it, you know, and it's still not manifesting, you know, it, it feels in this energy, I mean the Hermit is a card of introspection going within soul searching trying to find inner guidance as well you know and that's that's kind of what you're being asked to do by the universe you know this star in the lantern is the illumination from source god the divine giving you wisdom guidance inspiration on finding direction So, so for some of you, it can also be about some alone time here. Sometimes the hermit, more when it's reversed, it can be about withdrawal. But it might well be for some of you with something that's getting you down. You're feeling a little bit withdrawn and down about something. And the universe is lighting you up from within. Giving you guidance, inspiration. And it feels how you need to take action in your external environment. But also there's a kind of feeling that you are being guided, even in this period of feeling really down. Because the Eight of Swords is a feeling of, of, being, of things being futile. It's, it's when the mind, the swords is to do with the mind, our perspectives, our thought patterns, how we view things. And in this situation, this person is their own cager, their own in prison, their own prison almost. And it's the prison of the mind um, because they have loose shackles they could easily wriggle away from, you know, wriggle free from and, you know, take off the blindfold, see the way forward. But they don't. They remain stuck because they don't have the perspective they need to find direction. It's almost kind of like you're being given direction from within. The answers are from within in how you need to make forward now. But it's also an energy of you're being watched over in this difficult time and guided towards the right direction for you in your external environment. So there's definitely an energy of the situation isn't futile. But it feels like it is. It feels stuck energy. And the Eight of Cups is the wanting to walk away from disappointment and it feels like you want to manifest this missing cup, this ninth cup, the thing that brings you joy and happiness and contentment here, but it doesn't feel like it's manifesting. So there's a feeling of something is blocking you from moving on from disappointment, from things that haven't quite worked out towards something better. But there's also an energy here, because this is Pisces energy as well, to turn your back on situations that don't serve you anymore and to go in search of those that do, you know? It feels quite powerful, that Eight of Cups. Let's clarify this Eight of Cups, please. Yeah. The Hanged Man. Yeah, something is, is stopping you. I'm feeling something hasn't played out yet, Pisces. Something hasn't played out yet. The, the hanged man is a card of surrender. It can be a card of looking at something in a different way. 
as well and there's a, an energy of surrender how you view the old and regroup we look at things in a new perspective to see the way forward in a situation because for some of you it feels like you are being illuminated here you are being given some wisdom guidance on how you need to take action now and the eight of cups can be about walking away from disappointment about you know walking away from things that don't serve your highest good anymore that have rolled up that have served their course you know it's that kind of energy and the hanged man is the illumination the light bulb moment walking towards something better but there's kind of an energy of look at something from a different way but i'm also getting something hasn't played out yet it feels for me the time isn't quite right but it will be because again, I've got the hanged man here. And again, there, there is this kind of energy of you're waiting. This is a period of feeling in limbo. It can be about looking at something in a different way as well, which might well be resonant for some of you. For example, it can be to do with, um, for example, if it was to do with money and career, and I always give this example, and there's a specific industry that isn't recruiting anymore. It can be how you laterally think, how you look at unconsidered options, how you look at something in a different way and consider other industries and adapt your skills and experience to those industries, you know, to find the solution. And it's that, it can be that kind of energy of looking at something in a different way. But generally when the hanged man appears, it can be. If you do look at something in a different way and take action towards it, there's still something to play out here. Something needs to run its course, play out. But the message here is the inspiration that you're getting with that hanged man, the action that you take, you know, from illumination from within is allowing you to manifest something new. I mean, the three of wands is the first signs of success, something good coming your way. But it doesn't feel, I mean, the, the message is here that the ships are coming in, something good is coming your way. And again, with this four of wands, it is a card of celebration. Could be celebration in the home, the family, relationships as well. But there is something good coming your way uh, that it feels like not just you, but maybe your home, your relationship, your family will celebrate. Um, it's coming, but it's not quite there yet. So there's a feeling of something waiting here. And that's what the message is. It's coming. It's definitely coming, Pisces. It might well be that you need to look at something in a different way, regroup, explore unconsidered options, lateral thinking, that kind of thing. But there's definitely an energy of you are being aligned to the right path here. And something good is coming your way this month, but it feels it's not quite in the harbour yet. There's the first signs of success, though. Um, and again, we've got the number four, which is, I mean, sometimes this can be about milestones, achievements, celebration. So it might well be something is, is the reasons to be thankful. You know, that's what that gratitude card is all about. There could be some reason, something coming your way where there's reasons to be thankful. Whereas the first signs of success, growth, expansion. Sometimes this is linked to overseas opportunities, but it feels in this energy something has to run its course. But it's going to happen. Let's get one more card, please, Angel Spirits Guides for Pisces. One more card for Pisces. Let's clarify what's coming your way with this Three of Wands. What's coming your Pisces way with the Three of Wands, please. What's coming Pisces way with the Three of Wands, please. Okay, thank you. Got the tower. Thank you. Yeah. Love it. So, interesting, interesting, because it's the cup that you've been wanting to manifest that wasn't 
wasn't happening, where there have been delays and you felt stuck, maybe withdrawn from something, um, it's coming. And it's, it's bringing big change. I mean, that's what the tower is. I mean, it's a, it is a, it can be a, it's the tearing down of the old, you know, the tower. And it's the manifesting of the new with the three of wands. So it feels very beautiful. This, this tower is bringing some life-changing opportunity. Life-changing. I mean, that could be, I mean, the Ace of Cups, I mean, the, the tower is all about change but it's a neutral energy you know it's the tearing down of the old but it's a neutral energy um and it is in this energy this is the 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 tearing down of what you've been waiting for of the past it feels is making way for the new um some life-changing opportunity wow that you've been waiting for that you've been aligning to now, interesting, the Ace of Cups with the Tower, I mean, this can be things like pregnancy. This can be to do with love. This can be to do with opportunity that brings you joy. So, but it's a big opportunity, nevertheless. Could be overseas for some of you. It's not limited to that, but it is going to bring some kind of celebration joy. Now, because I've pl pulled extra cards, I would say this probably could go in January to February. Um, but nevertheless, it's coming. The change is coming. And wow, this is great happiness and joy. So it feels big changes coming your way, Pisces. Um, absolutely beautiful energy. I mean, I love the towel with the Ace of Cups because it is some kind of life-changing opportunity that is allowing you to... And it, remember the tower, this square tower, your round crown, square pair ground hole, something doesn't fit anymore. And the old is torn down uh, as soon as it's tested because it's found to have weakness. But the tower is a form of release. The tower is a form of alignment as well, alignment to your path. And for some of you, this tower is aligning you to this Ace of Cups. So it feels very beautiful and there will be reasons to be thankful. There may well be some waiting. There may well be some reconsidering of options here, opening your mind to all possibilities. But nevertheless, you are going to find the, the missing cup, you know, the missing cup that you've been searching for that hasn't been manifesting. It feels for some of you some life changing event or opportunity is coming your way. And there's going to be celebration as a result of that. It feels very beautiful indeed. I love that energy, Pisces. So final card for Pisces, please. Thank you. So we have Lion Honour. Honour your soul and celebrate its journey. Very nice indeed. Wow, very big energy. Very big energy. But whatever this feeling of stuck is, it's going to change. And it's going to change in a big way with this wonderful, big, changing opportunity coming into your world. So definitely coming your way, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Pisces, and I will see you next time. Thank you.